What's up crafters? Let's make some stickers using clip art inside of Cricut Design Space. We're going to slide on over to designbundles.net and we're going to grab this free cute animals PNG clip art winter animals clip art bundle thing. And we're going to upload a few PNG files to Cricut Design Space. So opening up Cricut Design Space, I'm going to go ahead and go over to our left hand navigation and we're going to click on upload. Now you can go through upload photo, browse and find everything or you can just start dragging and dropping things in. I'm saving everything as a complex image, apply, print then cut, save your image name and your tags. I know that it says it's optional, but I cannot stress this part enough. It is not optional. Like it is, but it's not. If you want to help future you, save yourself headache later throw some tags in there I'm going to repeat this process quite a few times I'm going to drag in a penguin complex apply and continue and because these are png files we don't have to worry about taking any background or anything like that out I think that's how you spell penguin I don't know, this is definitely how I'm going to spell more. <laughs> going to copy those last two tags so that I can just grab them later. Upload, get this reindeer in there, complex. Once again, we're not removing any backgrounds, so we just apply and continue. Reindeer. We'll grab this bear. and a Christmas tree. Oh, there's a couple more that I want to get. the bell so dragging the bell in complex nothing to erase so now that we have everything uploaded we are going to go from our home page essentially and select every piece of clip art that we're going to use for this and we are going to go to add to canvas and that is going to dump everything onto our blank canvas document thing. We need to resize these down. And get an outline going. I want to give these clip art pieces a little bit of a buffer. So we're going to select it and go up to offset. 0.25 is definitely far too much. I will copy and paste that. So I'm going to give each of these clip art pieces a 0.111 inch like outline. So repeating that process, apply, apply. And we are going to move all of our clip art to the top and I'm just going to hide these for now and change this to white so now that we have all of our offsets set to white we're going to go ahead and select both the clip art piece and the offset right click and flatten and that's going to turn the entire thing into one sticker i'm going to go to make it to see how this is going to fit on our document i think that we can fill this up a little bit better i'm going to copy and paste a couple of these and make them a little smaller Actually, let's 
copy all of them and make it a little bit smaller just to fill in the gaps so i don't want to waste any any paper let me make these main guys a bit smaller so they'll all be roughly three inch stickers that's oops that might be too big two and a half that's not bad and these are one inch yeah that'll be cute that'll be so tiny oh, oh there's so much room left all right let's double this up select everything I'm gonna be able to get all of those over here. Alright, so I'll just leave him out. Now, before you continue, we'll send this to the printer. Don't add a bleed because we've already done that. Then we'll use the dialog. Now, for these stickers, because they're just gonna probably end up on presents or given to like my nieces, I'm using online labels, 100 sheets, 100 labels. This, I think that they've done fine. So we'll go ahead and print this. Oh no. Oh, there's no way. There's nothing in there, anyways. It's fine. So sending this to the printer, we're going to uncheck the add to bleed. We're going to use a system dialog box so that we can make some small adjustments. Now, the adjustments that you make are going to be dependent on your printer and things that are working for you. For me, I'll show you what I've done. I have it on the eight and a half by 11, plain white paper, high quality color. Don't think I messed with any of this stuff here. I believe we are good to go. Right, so we will print this. So from what I can see, everything looks good. I'm not really seeing lines that are like normally a huge turnoff. And so now we need to I don't remember when the last time that I calibrated my machine and I know that they have had updates since the last time that I've done it like I know for sure there's been updates like just in the last week and I have not calibrated my machine machine in the last week so this will be interesting to see if it actually cuts <laughs> right on the first time but we added that offset so it should work itself out I just did like a little a little sneaky peek I waited for a little bit and I think I think that we're good 
Like, everything looked like it was cut in the first couple snowmen. Okay. It looked like the consistency around the band and everything. I think that this might be first time <laughs> that it went the right way. The way that it's supposed to go. And I'm so excited. I had to restart the camera thing because it can only, I think like it stops recording at 20 minutes. At least it did before. I don't know. I don't know what's up with it. We're just, we're just here. We're so close. We're so close. Oh my God, Jeff. It also looks great. Oh, I'm so excited. I have a bunch of little tiny cute Christmassy things ready to go. 96%, 98%. All right, here it is, the moment of truth. So the bigger ones look good. I'm going to strip off this. So the bigger ones came out great, like even spacing all around kind of thing. The smaller ones look like they struggled a little bit. It's not, it's not bad. It's not terrible, but there's definitely like the, the tops of the stickers went down a little bit for whatever reason. So you can see that the, the bigger ones maintained a good like ratio all around, nothing got weird. But those little ones, the tops of them got a little too close compared to their counterparts. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's still a little weird. But it looks good. I'm happy with it. Like, I think they're cute. I'll probably give some of these to my kids, throw them in a box. Maybe put those little tiny ones on some presents. Oh, I'm happy. So if you guys are interested in additional sticker kind of things, be sure to check out this video here. I actually show you how to do something similar to that inside of Canva. Now, I loved this hack initially but i'm not a major major fan of it now i'd much rather go through the process of doing it inside of cricut design space they with their new updates and stuff that they pushed out since i made that video over almost two years ago it's it's a lot easier just to upload the single files inside of cricut design space but if you want to know how to do alternate things be sure to check out this video